Hey YTPC, this is Ben aka Iron Brigade Piper. Just coming to you from my patio. Join a pipe today. Wanted to shoot a video. See how everybody's doing. Watching my kids play while they're out here. As you can see, my son Asher is coming up on his scooter right here. Say hi, Asher. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. My daughter is running around here somewhere too, so. My daughter tears up. Today I'm smoking my country gentleman, bent country gentleman. And in it, smoking my trusty Sir Walter Raleigh. Love this stuff, as you all know. But sitting out here on my patio enjoying the view um, we live in the, the foothills of the San Bernardino mountains and from my uh, patio here I sit out here a lot looking up at the mountains as I smoke my pipe so let me show you guys a view I'll turn this around all right guys this is the view from my uh, patio and uh, Come out most mornings, have a cup of coffee, smoke a pipe, and enjoy this view of the mountains. It's really pretty after we have storms and rains covering the mountains. Or sorry, not rain, snow. That's what I get to enjoy. What a beautiful view, right guys? Get to enjoy that every single day. Today, as I've been sitting here smoking my pipe, I've been thinking about my old reenacting days. And in some of my previous videos, I promised you guys some stories. So I figured I'd come on real quick, share a, a quick anecdote from one of the events that I participated in. Now, Pretty much all of our events for World War II reenacting took place at a National Guard base called Camp Roberts, which was up in Central California, um, close to the town of Paso Robles along the coast. Really beautiful area. It was an old World War II base, had old wooden barracks, uh, you know, set up during the war to house and train all the influx of volunteers that were coming in to be shipped overseas to fight the war. And the National Guard still keeps it active today for their, you know, weekend training sessions that they have for, you know, certain units. Well, we were out in the field doing our thing, you know, having a battle. And um, if you go to Camp Roberts, the landscape, it's a lot of rolling hills and, um, you know, trees. And uh, in between these, these rolling hills and ridge lines, there's these small little valleys, you know. So we're having our little battle in one of these valleys. All of a sudden, in the middle of the fight that we're having, um, you see a convoy of Humvees and, like, huge transport trucks drive up on top of this ridge that's overlooking the valley that, that we're doing our, our reenactment battle on. And you see all these, these National Guardsmen start hopping off the vehicles, probably about a company's worth, um, you know, amount of, of troops. So a company, you know, anywhere between 100 to 120 men, something like that. And they start lining the ri the ridge line up there, and they're they're standing there, just chilling and and watching us do our thing, you know, down in the valley. Um. And then all of a sudden, you know, I look towards the ridge line, and I see two of the guys from the 101st Airborne like reenactment group, and they're like gesturing to the guardsmen, like, "Come on, come down, join us, join us," you know, and so. Two of the guardsmen actually accepted the invite, and you see two of them kind of 
half jogging, like half stumbling down this, this ridge line. And when they get to the bottom of the ridge line, the two reenactors that, that called them down took off their helmets, plopped them on the guardsman's head. Uh, one of them gave one of the guardsmen a, a Thompson submachine gun. The other guy gave him his M1 Garand to the second guardsman. And then all of a sudden you see these two National Guardsmen getting into it, you know, and they're like moving forward all, you know, tactically and stuff and, and getting all, all into it and stuff. And you could tell they were having a blast and they are popping off rounds and stuff like that. It was a really cool thing to see. But the story doesn't end there. So after the battle died down, this uh, unit of National Guardsmen, they ended up all coming down the ridge line. And we got to um, just have a talk with them, man. And they, they were really curious about the weapons. They were curious about the uniforms, the history. They were asking us a lot of good questions. And we were uh, letting them try our weapons out, you know. So we, we ended up setting up like a firing line and stuff. And, uh, you know, the guardsmen lined up. And every single one of them got to shoot an old, you know, World War II rifle. Granted, it was, it was blanks, you know, and their company commander ended up hopping behind the, the German MG42 that we, that they had there. And he just let off a full rip, you know, and, uh, man, these guys were just having fun, but it was a really cool experience. We got to chat with them. They're actually a, a military police unit that was uh getting ready for deployment to iraq so this was back when we were still heavily involved in the iraq war but uh it was just a real honor to to get to hang out with those guys and girls because there was a few females in the unit as well and um get to talk about them get to talk about their families they got to um share where they they were from and um really cool experience and we got to share some history with them as well so but uh yeah that was a really cool cool experience that i had when i was reenacting and i have several more stories that i'm eventually going to share with you guys but that was the one that popped into my head today while i was sitting here thinking about my my days as a world war ii french foreign legion reenactor so hope you guys enjoyed the story Hope you guys are enjoying your pipes. Until next time, this is Iron Brigade Piper, signing out.